Well, look what we have here. Sprung up after a bit of rain. It's a mushroom. It's just outside my back door. Underneath a spreading cypress tree. Okay, so that's what we've got. It's a bit dusty on the top. It's only just popped up. You can see where I had a little poke around underneath earlier. And yeah, now some people think, or rather imagine, that if you you have to slice these off at the stem, otherwise all those mycelinium down there won't be uh, they'll be pulled out of the soil and the mushroom won't grow again. Now that's imagination, sheer imagination, because all the mycelium in the soil is in the soil all around here. Same with saprophytes on wood. All the mycelium's in the wood. Now what have we got here? There we go. Look. There's a nice bit of mycelium in the soil there. And you can see where it had its little veil. Very recently. There's a bug that scuffing off down the hole there. Yes. Yep. There's surely going to be growing mushrooms here again. Because all of this, all of this area here is all of it. Mycelium, that is. Anyway, there we go. See, nice gills. Pretty as tender pinkish brown colour. That, so we may as well put that back and yeah mushroom we're going to check it out and positively identify it and come back later and tell you what that is okay just wanted to show you this little trick of the light with the gills they're very fine they're like a series of curtains. Very nice. Okay. Back in a moment. Right. As you probably have guessed, it's an agaricus. And because it's got that yellowish little colouring in the cap and it is spherical becoming convex then plain dry cuticle blah 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 often with veil remnants at the margin yep we will guess that it is agaricus arven arvensis arvensis yep I'm sure it had a yes, horse mushroom. I knew it. As opposed to Campestris, which is a field mushroom, and the Bisporus, which is the one you buy in the shop, when they grow in old railway tunnels. And then, as so long as it's not the Agaricus xanthoderma, mild to unpleasant taste like Indian, smell like Indian ink or iodine, unpleasant taste, edibility suspect. Some people eat it, fine, others have severe stomach upsets. It's not this one. And then the uh, Agaricus langae is also edible. 
Whereas if you get onto emanators, so trust emanators. Right. Okay, that's more a little rave. A yellowish colour. It's just something that popped up. So we thought we'd make a little video. Remember what I said about people who think that you have to cut them off. Otherwise they won't grow anymore. Mushrooms when you come back next time. Those people just don't get it. I may be wrong, but I think they are. Okay. Enjoy.